I'm doing things a little bit differently with this video. If you're used to other videos on my channel, you might notice that the camera is a little bit different, maybe the audio is a little bit different, and that is because I'm using a smartphone vlogging kit provided to me for review by Movo. I've worked with Movo in the past on a previous microphone review that I've done, and so they reached out to me again and were like, hey, Portly, we like your stuff, we like your style. Do you wanna do maybe a review of an entire vlogging kit made for cellular devices? And I said, well, sure. Sounds neat. Right now the video is being recorded on my Google Pixel 4a. Normally I film with this bad boy, the Panasonic Lumix G7, and this lens is new. You're probably thinking, hey Portly, it's a nice camera, why does your video quality, you know, why does it kind of usually suck a little bit and maybe, you know, why aren't you in focus sometimes? Listen, I was experimenting with lenses, this one's new and I, I'm gonna just try it out in a future video. It should be better, okay? But we're not here to talk about this camera, we're here to talk about this vlogging kit. But I'm, I'm segueing into that, just stick with me, we're, we're getting there. Maybe you're newer on YouTube, maybe you're on a budget and you just don't want to spend a lot of money. You definitely don't want to drop as much money as I have over the years on this camera and the lens and everything. So maybe you are recording on a smartphone and you want to up your game. You want to increase your production value for not as much of a price increase as uh, investing in a big camera and a bunch of lights and microphones and whatnot. Well that's where Movo has you covered with the vlogging kit. I gotta look up the actual name of the kit, hang on. Well that's where Movo comes in with the iVlog smartphone video kit. This is essentially a bundle of various Movo products all focused around filming or vlogging or what have you, content creation on your smartphone. We've got the MVT1 Durable Mini Tripod, which the phone is currently on on my desk right now. It's a pretty short mini tripod with a ball joint head, and it has two adjustable settings as far as the leg opening and height, simply adjusted by twisting the little red ring here. And you can of course adjust the swivel of the ball mount. My one complaint there is that the joint, the ball, is a little slippery. There's times where it just, it unlocks and it moves when I don't want it to. So I would just be careful of that, but as long as you kind of just leave it alone and don't touch it like I'm doing now, you're probably fine. It also includes an extension rod, which I'm using right now to get this height on my phone. The rod extends the height of the tripod, but you can also make the rod even longer by twisting the little twisty thing in the middle, and it goes even higher. There's also the PR3 Smart Grip, which I am partially using on the tripod right now. It includes this little handle, a rotatable, adjustable smartphone mount that also has a level so you can see if your phone is level. That actually has a shoe mount on top for an external microphone or a light, which I currently have on the shoe mount right now, which we'll get into. It is adjustable so you can swivel it between portrait and landscape mode without having to move the tripod and finagle some way of working that out. So maybe you're doing Instagram Live or what have you and you need the camera in portrait mode, you've got that option. There's also an adjustable wrist strap that goes on the thread of the handle and then goes in between the handle and the mount just for a little bit of added extra security if you want to make sure that nothing falls off. And what's also really cool is the bottom of the handle also has a thread so you can actually screw this directly on to the included tripod. You don't have to switch between using the handle and the tripod, you can simply mount the handle on the tripod. You can even just keep the tripod on there, close it up and use it as a longer handle. The light that I currently have on the shoe mount is the LED 30. It's basically a simple small LED light that consists of 30 little LEDs on this little square, this little rectangle that just fits perfectly right up there just without taking any space. It's very small, it's very portable, and has a lot of great uses. Maybe you need like just a light off the side of your shot. You can even mount it on a tripod. It's actually very bright, like looking directly at it is kind of making me see dots around the room right now and it's on the lowest setting. It has three settings with the little clicker on the side there. You can adjust between low, medium, and high. And it also comes with a very short micro USB cable for charging. The battery life on it is really good. I haven't charged it at all with the exception of just a few minutes before filming today and uh, it, I've, I've used it here and there off and on. Even when I wasn't using the full vlogging kit, I was using the light here and there and the fact that it's still just super bright in my eyes is great. It works wonders, just maybe don't look directly at it. I'm not wearing my glasses. I just realized. I've, I've broken the illusion, the immersion. You're probably like, who is this guy? Who is this person? Surprise! It was me. It was Portly all along. I bet I, you didn't even know I was here. You're probably like, where's Portly? Who's this fat dude? And the last piece of the puzzle, or pieces, is the Edge UC external microphone. 
This is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone set. It comes with a little lavalier mic that you probably see on my shirt here that plugs into this wireless transmitter that then wirelessly transmits, as it says, to the wireless receiver, which is currently plugged into the USB-C port of my Google Pixel 4a. Now, if you're an iPhone user and you're like, USB-C, who is she? Let me tell you, the folks at Movo were so nice to us that they were like, you know what? Apple's behind in the times and they're not putting USB-C ports on their phone and they're just putting magnets on the back of the phone that makes it seem like it's cool, but really you're just plugging your phone back in again. You're still tethered to a cord. I could go on a rant. I have an iPhone 12 mini. I, I, I can still appreciate and hate, you know. Anyway, I'm going on a rant. Because Apple has decided to continue using the lightning ports for years since the iPhone 5, Movo came through for you with an Apple version, an iPhone version of the vlogging kit. You get everything that I talked about here today, but the Edge UC, this is the instruction manual, but this, instead of the USB-C receiver, comes with a lightning port receiver. Depending on your phone, you may need to enable an external microphone. That's what I had to do with mine. It took me a few tries of recording and, and unpairing and repairing to figure out, oh hey, it's just a phone setting, so keep that in mind. You are also able to monitor the audio. There is a line in on the transmitter as well as on the receiver, so you can listen to and monitor your audio and hear everything. I think it sounds pretty good. I mean, it definitely sounds better than talking directly into the built-in camera microphone on the phone. For a room like this, it's not going to be as massive of a difference, but it is still much cleaner sounding, at least in my opinion. This is what the microphone sounds like edited with my usual editing stuff that I do in post. And this is what it sounds like without just straight unedited audio from the video recording using the microphone. And this is what the audio sounds like with the built-in microphone on the Pixel 4a. I should also mention that the transmitter does require two AAA batteries which are not included. So if you don't have any AAA batteries laying around and you do pick this up, make sure to pick up some batteries. On the receiver, you're able to toggle between mono and stereo mode. I'm just using stereo right now, but if you prefer mono for whatever reason, you can do that as well. Now they do say that the, the, the range here, I'm only like a couple feet from the receiver. It's supposed to have a connection of up to 200 feet without any interference and it's still gonna sound great. Uh, I haven't tested that. I don't have uh, like a lot of space to test that. Additionally, maybe you don't necessarily need to wireless transmit this does have a 3.5 millimeter jack that can just unplug from the receiver and plug directly into your phone's headphone jack. Assuming you have a phone that has one, which I know a lot of phones don't, the Pixel 4a does, so that is an option for me. One thing I really like about this kit is how useful all of the pieces are individually. It is all bundled together with the idea of using together for a vlogging kit. But the fact that if you are a content creator who has other resources or maybe you're going to invest in a camera someday, it's nice to have these different options that you can use. I mean, this handle, there's nothing special about it that makes it specifically for a phone. It has a thread, so if you wanted to, you could hook this up to a regular camera. Same goes for the tripod. It's not the strongest, sturdiest tripod, so I wouldn't go really putting like this on it with the heavy lens, maybe with the lighter lens and without the Z mount on the bottom, I would, but it is something to keep in mind. Maybe you're using a small vlogging camera. It is a viable option. The light has plenty of uses. You can always use more light in video production, that's for sure. I'm using the, the phone's rear camera, so I can't see the recording right now. Hopefully it looks good. Now, a lot of the video quality and whatnot is going to depend on your camera. If you are using at least a recent iPhone, odds are your camera is going to be fine. With Android, it can be hit and miss, admittedly, depending on your budget. If you're using a higher end Android phone, you're probably gonna be fine. That's all up to you and depending on your device. The main focus here is all the stuff that's included. And for what you're getting, I really think you're getting quite a bargain, quite a, quite a deal here. Whatever it is that you're doing on YouTube, if you are using a camera, if you're using your camera phone, if you are putting your face on the screen and talking, and you need something like this, definitely check it out. I have affiliate links in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you Movo for sending this out for review. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new, consider subscribing, leave a comment, share the video. It all helps the channel. Thank you guys. I'm out of here. Peace out.